This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest stories and interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. Um, my name is Ossi Godwin, and of course, I'm here with Ewa Obitu and Ife Olua Oshunkeye. It's good. Good hey, good. How are you doing? Great. Bless you. How are you? Good, good, good. good. Mm. Okay, so um, Rihanna surprised um, her fans as she launches coffee table book featuring over a thousand photos of herself. Announcing the book on Instagram, Rihanna wrote, over five years in the making, happy to finally share this collection of incredible memories. Thank you to all of the photographers and artists that contributed and to my, f to my first piece of art in a new industry. Mm. And um, the memes and trolls have been <laughs> off the chains, right? I'm like, Vienna, don't do this to us. She has she done it. a new music. She Every time it. she just keeps giving us what she wants us to have. I mean, that's, that's owning your craft mm. and doing what you want to do. But please, let's focus on the prize. Have you seen it? The prize, I, I know the one for um, £90,000 mm -hmm. is sold Obviously, out. Um, that's just 10 features, items. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then um, there's another one that's for £5,125. Yeah. And then there, there are other sets though, for 140 and 120 But Just find your price and pick the one that fits you. I like what she did. This is business. Well, I, don't know. I don't know the people that will go and buy this photo book and all of that. A lot of people will buy it. Buy it. People yeah, that have the money. Mm. Well, I can afford to it. do what exactly? Some well. people will I think there are exclusive tonight. pictures. She says she's she's been working on this for five, five years, mm -hmm. and know, from the video, that's a video playing that she mm -hmm. shared. You there's some really artistic pictures, and I think she traveled a lot to yeah, get all, this. All yeah. tours and she Unless I'm going to take these pictures out and frame them and make something out of them, but no, I don't something think like what she will sue you. As 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 that that it's no. coffee table. Like if you imagine you're living in. Uh, who who has that kind of house? Okay, say a white comedian at his house. You have this on your table. Are you talking about my house? So you, man. You, you said you don't want to buy this. So how am I sure? <laughs> <laughs> you have space in your house to keep it to fit. Because I don't understand. <laughs> it, is, it has a stand on its, its own stand. If yeah. you buy, if you get the one that goes for £5,125, mm. yeah, it has... But it's amazing. I think it's a, a beautiful table. business idea. And um, the price is... Uh, Relatively high, but there are people that will still buy it because there's a target really, audience. Yeah, mm. she's Rihanna, and besides, she has a lot of celebrity friends that will probably just buy this because someday these things will go. Um, when she's old and gray and she passes on, you know, this will be some things that will be part of her history and memory. Mm. And uh, some people would like to own that. So when she finds it, will be like, oh, I have this. Mm. You don't. And they start selling it for outrageous prices. So even if you're buying it for such a very outrageous amount right now, wait till she passes on. Hmm. So just as relative, some, to some people it's not it's outrageous. Pocket money Do you understand? Like, just, I'm just sure that she it, knows the it. people. Imagine the um, most expensive one is sold out already. Mm -hmm, but she that's just a, ten pieces. Yeah, she has a target audience. Do you get five thousand dollars. Um, trust me, people will buy. Okay, people will buy. People will buy. People, it's, it's just, it's just serious. some people's money for snacks. People in her industry would definitely <laughs> buy. So. Oh. That's show market already, mm. and then I mean, I think it's a Rihanna good thing. It's a way of keeping um, a story with us, like Ife said, even when she's gone, mm. she understand? Because the book will forever be there, mm -hmm. and you'll be surprised that um, God forbid, after years and years and years, and Rihanna is dead, people will start um, giving the Bring book out the for energy. auction, and then they'll be calling. Yeah. You make times whatever amount you um, like times hundred of the amount she bought the book at that time. So but looking it's at a the good picture. One. As I saw though, you know, she's not like though, she's not just focusing on herself. It's like memories, good times mm, with other celebrities. Families, friends, family, friends, Jay Z yeah. and all of that. So And there are pictures that yeah. have never been um posted. Most of them, not Most, all of them. I think all not all of them, most of them. Okay, so um, let's move on to um, the story that has been making rounds now for the past three days. The sex for um Says for grades, right? We've talked about we talked about it on Monday, we talked about it yesterday, and it's, the conversation is still ongoing, and people are reacting, and the reaction is bringing reactions. You know, the first one that caught our attention has to be the one from Evo Nelson, where um, she was saying, "Okay, let me just read out what she said." She said, "Sex for grades, sex for jobs, sex for everything in our part of the world. Your brains don't matter here. It's the covered parts they want. Oh wait." These parts aren't covered anymore. It's free on social media. Will it ever change? Um, and, and I saw reactions to this mm -hmm. uh, post where mm. 
people now started digging up. Do you know the celebrities forget that social media has reset? And the moment... <laughs> Uh, and you buy market. I, I don't, I don't and, even and understand. It's not even about social and media move, yet. And she has movies. I mean, a lot of movies that she's always naked. Most of her, like old movies, or most of mm. her old movies, she's always naked. So it's not even about social media forgetting. I mean, is the movies can be deleted on YouTube and every other site that they are. So what is she trying to say? What does she mean by? Um, nudes are everywhere. If somebody is even supposed to say that, it's not supposed to be coming from man. From sorry. you, who is also guilty. You know, if it's coming from like a Genevieve, we know she's always covered up. Uh, no, 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 that, no. That was just one. Hey, Genevieve would never even say this. <coughs> okay, what about Motola? She doesn't have nudes, does she? <laughs> okay, <laughs> the point <laughs> now is okay. not, it's not even so about her having the right to, to say it or not or being in that best position to make this kind of statement is the fact that this statement is not supposed to be made at all. Yeah, because, because regardless of what you look like and how you look like, I saw another tweet, I'm not sure we have that one, but the person was talking about, it's, I think it's coming from OZ Etomi, she's a feminist and all these Twitter people, mm. and she was talking about how these same lecturers that lecture in Nigeria here, when they go outside, because most of them have... Um, um, jobs outside the country where they also mm -hmm. lecture mm -hmm. sometimes and um, like there are professors outside Nigeria too. They go there, they see students that dress even worse than um, the vulnerable but ones you're trying to. You, but you don't take advantage because you know there is a system. Because you know that if you try it, you will pay for it. You know, but when you, so when you leave the country, you're your your self control comes back. The fact that uh, because you know that you'll be prosecuted. You if know, anything so it means that they know that this is wrong. If you can only do it here and you will not travel out and do it over there, where we can say that you don't expect them to be conservative no in their dressing. So there's no justification for mm. doing it at all. You know, and I also saw people trying to say that let's talk about um, the ladies that push themselves to the lecturers for grades. And I'm saying, yes, there's a place and time to talk about that, but this is not the time to raise that conversation. Let, I don't know why they are trying to, like, shift the shame from the lecturers to the um, students. Le students involved. Let's even, like, forget, let's even forget shifting the blame and all of that. What even said, because now she's trying to make it look like, oh, people did not understand the tweets that, okay. Mm. Oh, what did she say? Yeah, she said um, pe that y people just read but they don't read to understand that like, if you don't understand so you see pips just don't read to understand if you only came to this under this post i understand that's what most people do on twitter but it's because of the tweet you lack understanding and same no done. she lacks understanding she should explain she said explain, explain to her no 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 that's no no no, so no. Wait, she wait. needs to uh, explain yeah, yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> maybe if i want to explain yeah that's ahead. what i'm saying that. no i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to back her up but i'm telling her that sis you shouldn't have even said that because now you're giving me the impression that all along, you sold your body to get to where you are. Mm. Because if you're saying this is what people are interested in, people don't care about your brain. So are you also telling me that people do not care about even Nelson's brain or no, her talent? Or her... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm... No, she doesn't have a brain. <laughs> As in, are you telling me that they're not interested in your craft, they're right. interested in the covered part, and you have been giving out your covered part to mm. get to where you are today? Mm. Because that's what I understand from your tweet, because you're trying to justify why men do what they do they because do. in this part of the world it's allowed it's supposed mm. to be the norm mm. and which is not supposed to be so and as a public figure i think she should be kicking against this like every other person like timmy dakolo and the likes but why are you coming out to say this like of course we know in 2019 the dressing of um, 1988 is not what we're you wearing know. in 2000 in 1999 what we're wearing in 1999 is not what we're wearing was it was not what we're wearing in 2005 what we're wearing what in <laughs> like, wait, 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 wait. I don't know what this is going to be. We're wearing last year. It's not what we're wearing, 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 wearing this now. year. So, so we wear, we wear, we wear, we wear, we wear. Right. right. Okay, I think it's time for a very quick break, but when we return, we'll take more reactions on the sex um, for great story. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. I can still 
make music and people are still buying. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is from mature minded people. Like God DM sometimes from Malawi, like woo! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And still on the sex for great um, story, um, the next reaction we are looking at is the one from Toke Makinwa. She says, Sex for great, even if it never happened to you, I'm most certainly sure you know someone who has had to endure unnecessary pressure, sexual advances, harassment, and all sorts of despicable or chances from these beasts. Mm. So, um, yeah, I think this is going to the like ones Like you said who, yesterday, you've not been affected, yeah. but you know uh, people that have been affected, and you are your story. So you can't act like you can't even relate to the story. Mm. And then she went on to say, seeing comments where people justify sex for grace is so heartbreaking. How can you even compare abuse of position to consexual relationships? Mm. It's beyond me. The world is crazy. The world is definitely crazy. Like, it's going... It's going haywire every day, mm. and I hope that we, we can retrace our tracks somehow because the reactions I'm seeing on this, it's I'm even really it's even more heartbreaking yeah. than um, the documentary. Do you, you understand? <laughs> so, mm. ah. Back to um, what Tukia said. Um, I think, like we all said yesterday, it's heartbreaking and we're looking at this ignorant people because a lot of people are trying to shift blame mm. from the people that should be blamed. We're talking about ASU, we're talking about the students involved, we're talking about lives being ruined, we're talking about people that have dropped out of school because of the sexual harassment. People have attempted it's, suicide. It's, yeah, mm. it's like cultism. I've, we've seen a lot of people, we've seen a lot of boys that run from one school to another because they've been trying to mm -hmm. be initiated mm -hmm. and they don't want to be initiated or they have um, cultist um, problems in schools and they move around. And this thing has been copped to an extent. Mm -hmm. At least you don't hear about the old cultism story like we used to back in the days, you know, killings and all of that. Now, this sexual harassment thing is something that is what we're dwelling on right now. Mm. And people choose to be ignorant and feel like, okay, because I haven't been affected personally, doesn't mean it doesn't happen to people. And as long as these things keep happening, and then we keep trying to justify it, and we're sitting on the fence with Switzerland on this one, and we get to choose and pick when we want to fight for the right thing, mm. then we're, we're, we're going to remain backward. And I won't be amazed if they keep calling us an underdeveloped country. Mm. Do I think you understand? Timmy, Timmy Dakolo yeah. also has. You want to add to that before we take Timmy Dakolo's reaction? No, um, if I say something like, if we don't. Um, people trying to sit on the fence. I think there are some situations that you don't. You there's nothing. Like, yeah, you have to take a stand. Is that your? I don't take a stupid head? stand because a lot of people are taking <laughs> stupid stands. No, let them even. No, no you can't know your place. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's now we know that. Okay, okay this so is we should know stand. the stupid one. Yeah. Exactly, and you know can how we to put keep your children. Somebody that her name starts with Y in the stupid category. Apparently, if we what she said is very what she said is okay, very. Okay, so stupid. we have two categories: the S and S, the stupid and smart. Right. Yes. So now, right. <laughs> so what category is Timmy Dakolo in? Who has seen his reaction? Well, Timmy Dakolo, Dakolo mm -hmm. is in. He says nowadays when someone is no, saying, "I no. give God the glory," we need uh, to ask God. We need to ask which God. Yeah, I think in, he's going for mm, Doctor Boniface. No, he's in the category of. Shabai, I told you people. <laughs> <laughs> so he's still in the S. Yeah. So we have triple S. Smart, stupid, smart, Shibia and Shabai, I told you people. <laughs> so she's in the Shabai, I told nice. you people. So it's not every pastor. It's not everybody that is screaming God. Because even this uh, pastor Boniface was mm. calling God. Well, I mean, I yesterday I saw a lot of and videos of him ministering in church, mm. laying hands on people, and I'm like, wow. You see the lady who said that she, he, he, at some point, that's the one day, not one of the investigators, those that have experienced him. Mm. And saying he was holding her, grabbing her, and writing down the scriptures. Yeah, it was, I think he was going for a Bible study. Uh, you yeah. guys saw this. <laughs> hey, I that came on social media like two weeks ago about this uh, um, pastor, a mm -hmm. woman, that was saying something about sex, and that's when that uh, releasing the glory. Mm -hmm. I don't, did you guys see that? No, I didn't. You didn't? I think I did, but I'm trying to... 
remember oh, okay let's not talk no about it's not it. something we can talk about here yeah, but, but uh, i'll give you guys the glory of god. so Anyways. it's not everybody that calls god that mm. is actually a man of god so mm. sometimes you need to watch the kind of churches you go to you need to look at your spiritual leaders not every spiritual leader can lead you to god mm. because most of them do not even look at this man look at him chilling big boy Mm. I'll kiss you for a minute. <laughs> uh, just, just for a minute. Mm? Okay, it's just like very ridiculous. Mm. I don't even know how they put, bring themselves down to that level. Like, I mean, a young girl, 17 year old girl, is sitting in front of you. Please, who and saw the can... one, the man who said, uh, Who is your lecturer? <laughs> who is the lecturer? The doctor. The doctor. Yeah, he has also been in development now. Mm -hmm. He has also been suspended. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I think we need to see more than suspension, like you said yesterday. Mm. They, no, I'm they sure there will be co cases for sexual harassment, and most of them will probably be stripped because this I said is an associate um, professor. professor. So I'm sure he's going to be stripped off that. So all his um, years of studying and reading and all of that will be wasted. No, 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 which, no, no, no. What? I don't. It will probably just go to jail. I don't think they can. I think Why would you strip him of that? No. If you're no longer qualified to be in the educational system. That's uh, what yeah, he means. Yeah, he, he might not be able to teach mm. again, but they can't take his certificate away from him. I'm not talking about his certificate. I'm talking about professor. Now, that mm. is a special, um, what's it called now? That's a special thing they are giving you to your academic. It's like calling you a giving you a doctorate degree. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And then after getting your doctor, it's like winning the Grammys to even, they no, strip people I, off the Grammys. No, I don't think the Grammys um, and your okay. professor well, should, whatever. Well, I, I don't know. I just to, think, well, if that done. is not what they're doing, then that is what they should be doing. I think mm. they should go to jail. Because go in jail, to jail, nobody and get stripped off everything because or not. Okay. It will so still be violated we'll keep, in jail. We'll still keep looking at the story. <laughs> it will, him, it will be violated, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep oh, looking at the story. Oh, you want that to happen to him. Whatever happens to him. <laughs> what happens next. But um, before we go, let's really touch on um, Miley Cyrus, who is in the sick bed, and um, she's trying to keep up the good vibe and all that. And um, it came as a surprise, because I think before this came to the public, she posted something trying to raise money for With charity, the early, right? The general yeah, show and for not knowing that she was also um, in a downtown. So, mm -hmm. But I like her vibe. Her vibe is all about positivity. Mm -hmm. She's not making it look like, oh, because I'm sick is the end of the world. She's saying, oh, my fans send out positive vibe to me. Even a uh, hospital gown, she redesigned she it. Right. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. She redesigned it. She's in a good vibe. And I think... Um, the way you see yourself is how you're actually going to um, portray yourself and, and that's how you're going to feel inside mm. at the end of the day. So um, that's the way she sees herself. That's the way she's portraying herself. And at the end of the day, I think she's just going to be well. It's all well and good. It's a truck disease that has to do with something at the back. I can't. Um, toasty, what's it again? For a moment, I thought it was Tontojik. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever the, um, I can't remember the, um, the exact um, medical term, mm. yeah. But it's something that has to do with the throat and inflammation in the throat mm. and all of that. So um, I think she's going to get better with she was, she uh, positive get better. energy, a positive vibe, and the way she's um, working no, towards sure recovering properly. Doctors, um, mm. of course. I mean, that. most people even have that and they don't have to go to the hospital, mm. but it's a Miley Cyrus. I think I've had it before. <laughs> I've, I've <laughs> you had it at some point. <laughs> but then, it's okay that she's at the hospital. You need to um, focus on your Because health. that's her selling point. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I, like, I like that she's not really down. You know, some people like to exaggerate. She'll mm. probably be at the hospital and just show us the drip and make it look like she's about to have a surgery mm. or something. And she's, she, I like mm. that she said her boyfriend is coming to visit her soon, and she's just been a, a picture. Are you sure your boyfriend? Is yeah. it her girlfriend or boyfriend? Her boyfriend. I think it's her girlfriend because she said, she said I love my, um, no, she said I love my real gays, not my mm -mm, real mm -mm. guys. No, I, I, there was a about? post, she said, um, BF coming to say I soon or something hey, like when, that. when you were in a, um relationship that has to do the there's, there's the boy, there's a girl, there's the one who's supposed to be no, the but one. they don't call them boyfriend. Of course, they're, they're, I don't know what they call them. I wouldn't know. Maybe we should ask Bobrisky. <laughs> they call them girlfriend. Anyways, she said a lover. Because now, I don't, I don't know, know if it's a man or a woman. Okay. But a lover is coming to say hi to her. And I like that she's keeping the positive energy. Like if I say, let her get well soon so she'll go and save the gorillas. 
Wow. Okay. <laughs> I think that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, my thank you as always go mm. to my co-anchors, Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwashokeye and the entire production team. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa to stay up to date with all our exclusive content. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later. Thank you.